After Effects doesn't really have an audio mixer per se like many video programs do. So if you want to mix audio tracks together, you'll need to hack the system a little bit. So I've created this previewing and mixing project. And essentially in this bass snare loop composition, we have four audio tracks here. We have a, a basic drum track with the bass and snare drum. We have a hi-hats track and a bass guitar and a rhythm guitar. Now let's hear what this sounds like. But before we do, you'll notice that there's no visuals here. So when we preview, there's nothing we really need to see. So we don't really need to do a RAM preview. So what I want to do here is just do an audio only preview. I can do an audio only preview by hitting the period key on the numeric keypad. This is really helpful if you have a lot of layers going on visually, maybe you have some particle systems and you got some video with color adjustments and all sorts of stuff going on and you just want to preview the audio and you don't want to take the time to do a full RAM preview or maybe you don't have enough RAM to do a full RAM preview to hear the audio, just hit that period key to preview the audio. So when we hear this track, we notice that the rhythm guitar is way too loud, the bass and snare probably aren't loud enough, hi-hats are too loud, etc. So what we can do is actually resize our timeline panel and open these layers up. When you first open up these layers, it's kind of annoying because when you have no effects applied, it just says audio. To get anywhere, you have to open this up again, and we can see the audio levels parameter. Audio levels is essentially like volume. Now, as you can tell here, this is not a readout of the decibel level of your audio track. This is basically saying how much extra are you going to add. So if we click and drag on this to the right, we're going to be adding plus 12. If we take this to the left, we'll be reducing the volume of this audio track. Once you get far enough, it's going to get to negative 48, and that's essentially nothing. That's essentially silent. So if you ever want to fade out an audio track, this is the way you do it. You set a keyframe for audio levels and then animate it to go to negative 48. I definitely don't want this track to be non-existent, so I'm going to take it down to maybe about negative 5 or so. Now let's preview it. Now that's actually a loud track. Maybe that's still too loud. Maybe negative 7. And we could increase the volume of the bass and snare track, take down the volume of our hi-hats, leave the bass guitar where it is, and now let's preview again. Much more bumpalicious. Now that drum track is a little loud, but uh, that can be cool. So we'll leave that as is. Now when we opened up the audio category, you might have also noticed that there's a waveform category. Open up waveform to see a representation of the audio waveform. So here we can see the bass drum, the snare drum two bass drums, a snare drum. Looking at the waveform is another useful way to sync visual objects to audio tracks. In the next movie, we're gonna look at how to enhance the quality of our audio by using some of After Effects' built-in audio effects.